It's a red letter game for you being an Iowa guy. Uh, obviously, it'll be, it'll be good to go back to that stadium, and I got a lot of uh, friends and family coming wearing red to the game, so that'll be good. Um, but this is an important game for our team. Really important to finish strong. Really important for defense to play well this game and get some momentum going into spring football and recruiting. Uh, you know, back when we were you know, at Oregon and, and places like that. It was fun, you know, fun to go back and forth, alumni, alumni, but, you know, I tell the kids all the time, you guys got great stuff here. The facilities are unbelievable. The training table, the academics, my favorite place in the whole building, in the whole complex, is when we walk out of that gate and it says, I play for Nebraska. I coach at Nebraska, I get to coach at Nebraska. And there's no doubt about it, I grew up in Iowa, but home is where the heart is and my home's in Lincoln, my heart's in Lincoln. Do you enjoy these shorter weeks now that you have? Like, what, how does your week change now? No, I hate the short weeks because I love practice. Uh, the guys love the games. I like the game too, but the, the Saturdays for the boys, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, those are my days. So when we miss a, a day, I, I don't like that very much, but I, I know it's good to, to get a Friday night game or a Friday game after Thanksgiving and, and TV and all that kind of stuff, but I like to practice. So I, I do not like these short weeks. Uh, obviously, I think they're really good up front. Uh, you know, the, the O-line does a good job of, of really knowing what their assignments are and executing. And then the tight ends cause you some problems. They got a couple, two or three guys they can put in there. They all block really well and they can all run routes really well. So I think they, they pose some problems in the run game um, if you're going to try to cover those guys. And then if you try to get, load up the box and get in the run game, they're going to beat you in the pass. So you have to have a good plan to take those tight ends away. Well, I think, you know, they can get in there and smash you. And they use Noah Fon, obviously, in a couple different ways. And then he can split out, and he's as good as a receiver, you know, in, in the Big Ten. He's, he's very, very comparable to a lot of receivers in the Big Ten skill set wise. So I think it's not one of those deals where you can say you can always be in base when they got the tight ends in. You have to be in nickel, then you're going to get the run. So you have to have a really good plan of, of how you can defend both phases of the game when they get big or whether they get small. Yeah, I think it's great. It's great for the defense. It builds confidence, obviously. Um, you know, and it shows the guys that there's going to be games probably as we move forward in, in our tenure um, that we're going to win 50 to nothing. And that's great. And there's going to be games where we have to win it 55 to 49. And that's great too because we won. And then there's going to be a game where we're going to have to win 9 to 6 or 2 to nothing. And, and that's really good too. And that's awesome for us. But it's a team game. There's going to be a game where a special teams touchdown wins it. They, they need to understand that every phase of the game is important. We need to play 100% no matter what the circumstance, whether the offense scores a touchdown, whether the offense throws an a, a interception, whether we turn the ball over on special teams, whether we get a turnover on special teams. It, it all works together, and I think it's good for those guys to see that. Eric, we haven't talked to you since Saturday. How much did that performance on Saturday lose the I think it did. You know, I, I think the kids – well, you know, first of all, football is not a hard game. It's, 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 let me put it differently. It's simple. It's not easy. Execute the call, tackle the guy with the football, play harder than everybody else in the field, and, and defense works. And, and those guys are starting to understand that. They have the ability. They have the skill set. We have the guys here. They just need to play as one unit. Everybody execute the call. Everyone communicate. Everyone play harder than the offensive team that we're facing, and then go make tackles. And, and things are good. Things are going to happen. And we're starting to get some turnovers. That confidence is building. The guys are starting to get the ball out. They're starting to get some picks. They're starting to not only get the sack, but try to get the football out. So uh, good things are happening right now.